Apex Legends Season 11 Escape brought the launch of an old but also new legend, Ash. The story and lore of Ash is the richest history of any legend, bridging Apex Legends and Titanfall and many other characters like Horizon, Revenant, Pathfinder, Loba, Blisk, and Jack Cooper. We're going to follow the timeline as the events happened, starting with what we know about Dr. Ashley Reed through the moment Ash joins the Apex games. I've got timestamps down in the description as always, so let's get started. Before Ash was the robotic killing machine we now know, she was Dr. Ashley Reed, Horizon's apprentice. Nearly a century ago, the Outlands were facing a cataclysmic energy crisis and a group of scientists were tasked by Lillian Peck, the billionaire that literally created the floating city of Olympus, with finding an alternative energy source as part of Project Iris in the year 2643. The scientists included Ash, Horizon, Gibraltar's grandfather, Watson's grandmother, and I guess several others. Horizon theorized that an element called Branthium could be found on the accretion disk of a black hole. Knowing that there were obvious risks with hanging out next to a black hole, Horizon said her goodbyes to her son Newton and took off with Ash in search of Branthium. What Horizon didn't know was that Ash had secretly been working with the IMC, you know, the bad guys of the universe, to steal the Branthium. The IMC had been engaging in war with the militia forces across several planets and star systems, and their key weak point was their need to constantly refuel their starships. With Branthium, the IMC would essentially not need to worry about fuel, and this would basically secure their victory in the frontier war against the militia. So, Ash did what any good apprentice would do and cut the tether holding Horizon's ship after the Branthium had been transferred. Sorry, dearie. Horizon was left to drift off into the black hole, and due to gravity time dilations, around 80 years passed on Olympus. You know, kind of like Interstellar, but without the whole mountain wave thing. With Horizon seemingly dead, Ash hurried her way back to Olympus, and the other scientists met her with open arms, apparently. The group then needed to figure out a way to synthesize the Branthium for use as a stable energy source, which proved to be pretty difficult. Luckily, Horizon's son Newton eventually joined the team as an intern after several years and pointed out that they'd need to do some adjustments on the refinery itself while the reactor was on. But because human bodies are just skin bags and they're unable to withstand any of the conditions inside the reactor, the group decided to modify and upgrade a Marvin to do the job for them. They gave the Marvin knowledge, autonomy, and a great personality, and their new friend went by the name Pathfinder. Pathfinder was created in February of the year 2658, and by December of that year, the first batch of Branthium was successfully refined. There was supposed to be a short celebration, but before that, Ash told Newton, Take the night off. Because, you know, she was about to sabotage the whole operation and potentially kill some more scientists. Ashley Reed then got all suited up for battle and called in her mercenary friends from the IMC to take all that synthesized Branthium. Pathfinder stopped the phase runner before any Branthium could get delivered to the IMC. Ash gets all angry faced and stabs the metal robot with her metal sword, to which Pathfinder pulls a Fast and Furious talking about his family again and throws Ash to the ground. The sword goes bouncing away, but holy sh**, Ash is a wraith main and two taps Pathfinder with the wingman. But wait! Watson's grandma is here to save the day and gives Ash the full nine yards. With the IMC beating down the door to the facility, the scientists send the Branthium to Peck Industries to keep it out of IMC hands and then self-destruct the facility, resulting in the rift we now see on Olympus. But wait, whoa, hold on. If all those scientists in there died, shouldn't Ash have died too? I mean, she was just laying there on the floor bleeding out profusely. Well, apparently her plot armor was real thick and she somehow was saved and rushed to presumably Vincent Dynamics. They realized her body was dying, but her mind could be saved, so they went through the process of turning her into a simulacrum, similar to what had been done to Revenant some 200 years earlier. During the process, they locked away Ash's memories behind a series of codes, which was an added security measure in comparison to Revenant. After Ash was turned into a simulacrum, she was recruited in the Apex Predators mercenary team by Cuban Blisk, as seen in Titanfall 2. You catch glimpses of Ash a few different times during the Titanfall 2 campaign, she makes you fight some dudes in a simulated arena, and then you eventually get to face off against her 1v1 me, bro! She teleports around quite a bit while trying to slap you with her sword, but it's no match for the BT-Jack Cooper combo, and she gets ripped out of her Titan's cockpit and squished by BT's glorious robo-hand. Wow, she's gotta be dead now, right? 
No. Somehow, once again, she gets back into the hands of Vincent Dynamics and they reconstruct her so she can continue to lead IMC mercenary forces. Fast forward a bit, and some years before the Apex games take place, Ash reunites with Blisk. They make some kind of a deal where Blisk throws Ash's head into a portal as a last-ditch effort of some kind and mentions a tropical paradise. Season 11 spoilers, anyone? This breaks Ash's head into nine pieces that get scattered across King's Canyon in an alternate dimension where Shadow Revenant rules over the planet. Hammond Robotics apparently catches wind of this and makes a contract with Loba telling her that if she rebuilds Ash, they'll give her the source code for Revenant. Loba recruits the other legends and you fight off some prowlers from the Shadow Realm until you find all nine pieces. Ash's head gets rebuilt and installed on what remains of her body and Loba receives Revenant source code. Loba originally wanted to use the source code to kill Revenant, but instead she sends it through a phase runner to another planet called Gridiron to take away the one thing that Revenant wanted, which was his death. Hammond Robotics then takes Ash back to their facility, extracts her memories and whatever other information they could get from her, and tosses her into a dumpster out back. Pathfinder later finds her and calls her his girlfriend. He takes her back to his place, and then Rampart somehow triggers a sudden return of Ash's memories, probably by saying the word Olympus, or because of the close proximity of Cuban Blisk. Blisk then shows up and tells Ash that an old friend of hers is back and proceeds to leave with her. Blisk then has Ash head up the arenas of the Apex games, similarly to how she did her simulated dome arenas in the past. Eventually, Ash runs into her old friend Horizon and mentions her son's name, Newton. Confused, Horizon doesn't know how this simulacrum lady knows anything about her son, but she lets it slide. The two come into contact once again, and Horizon mentions one of the memory codes to Ash, which results in her going into freakout mode. Revenant tries to intervene and kill Ash to save her from the hell that is being a simulacrum, but gets zapped away in the process. Ash then lashes out towards Horizon, but Horizon says a bunch of other codes, and Ash goes night night. Horizon then thinks she's talking with Lillian Peck, but quickly learns she's talking to that backstabbing two-timer, Dr. Ashley Reed. Ash's human side then tries to tell Horizon where her son Newton is, but Robo-Ash takes back over, thanks Horizon for the new information, and goes off to join the Apex Games. The reason still isn't really known why Ash joined the games, but it probably ties in with Lillian Peck because she probably blames her whole life of tragedy on being selected by Lillian to join the Branthian Project all those years ago. If you want to learn more about the entire history or story of Apex Legends, click on either of these two videos. Hit the like button and subscribe if you want more video recommendations like this one, and I hope to see you all again in paradise.